Hello friends. Today we'll be getting started with Cloudflare Workers. This is going to be the first of many videos on Cloudflare Workers, so if that's something you're interested in, uh, be sure to subscribe. Cloudflare Workers are similar to other serverless platforms, but on the edge. Now what that edge part means is that your code will be deployed and run globally across many regions in the same way that a CDN works with static content. And this has a couple of advantages. Automatic scaling. Scaling is always a pain in the ass and you no longer have to worry about it. It's fast because Cloudflare workers are geographically distributed. So based on where the user is, that'll determine what region their code runs from. Zero millisecond cold starts. So unlike other platforms, your application will start up immediately. And of course the price, uh, they do offer a free tier. Um, and I found that the paid tiers are actually pretty competitive with the other services. Of course, the platform isn't without its disadvantages. I'd say the biggest one is the CPU runtime. You're looking at either 10 milliseconds for the free plan or 50 milliseconds for the paid plan. So you're not going to be running any CPU intensive tasks on these workers. That'll have to be offloaded to a Lambda or some other service and then called from your service worker. The good news is that idle time waiting for the API call isn't counted against your CPU time. The simultaneous outgoing requests are limited to six, so you're going to have to be aware of that and potentially cache the results of those requests. And finally, it's not Node.js. So that means there are certain Node modules that are designed for Node that won't work. But I found that if it's compatible and runs in a web browser, it's very likely to run in a worker. So now, what does this all mean? Cloudflare workers are not a replacement for Lambdas or other cloud functions. You likely won't be able to port your code from one to another. You will also need to design your application around these strengths and weaknesses. And with that being said, I'm pretty excited about Cloudflare workers. And I have a couple of proof of concepts that I've been pretty impressed with so far. Okay, so let's just dive right in. I'm gonna go ahead and install the Wrangler CLI. And I've noticed that on some of my computers, I need to install this with sudo. That's just gonna depend on how you've installed Node and NPM. And that doesn't have anything to do with the Wrangler API. That is exclusively a permissions issue with installing global modules. So now I'm going to use Wrangler to generate a site called My Worker. I'm going to CD into My Worker and just restart VS Code. And now I'm going to open up the terminal and run preview just to make sure my installation works. And now you should see something that looks like this. And if you've made it this far, congratulations on getting your Cloudflare worker up and running. So now I've logged into my Cloudflare account and I'm going to create a new token. I'm going to use this token to publish from the CLI. So I'm going to click create token. And here where you see edit Cloudflare workers, I'm going to click on use template. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click uh, continue to summary because it's going to highlight a couple more things I have to select. And I'm just going to allow this for all of my accounts and all of the zones. And I'm going to say go to summary and create token. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And now remember here that it actually says for security, this will not be shown again. So be sure to copy this into some sort of password manager or something else. I'm going to click copy. And I'm going to go back into the CLI and type in Wrangler config. Now this is where I'm going to paste my token in. The next thing I need to do is open up my Wrangler.toml file and insert my account ID into this section. After that, I should be able to type in Wrangler publish. And here's my published site. It does give you a URL after it's successfully published. I can click on this, select open. And here's my worker published on the Cloudflare platform. So that's going to conclude this video. In the next one, we're going to dig into the code of a worker. Sign up to my newsletter to be notified when that video comes out. And as a reminder, when subscribing to my YouTube channel, be sure to click the bell icon to also receive notifications. Check the links below in the video description. If there's any new updated information, it'll be in the links below. And I'd like to thank you for spending your time with me and watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And like always, I'll see you in the next video.